ሰላም እንደምን አላችሁ? ባሬ ከበለፈው ይከተለ ስለ ሰብስቴሽን እናያለን ማለት ነው። ከዚህ ከመያታችን በፊት ቲውን ሰብስክራይብ ሼር ማድረጋችሁ እንዳልረሱ hello በቴሌግራም ቻናል ኬንድ ላይት በሚል ማግኔት ይችላልላችሁ ማለት ነው። ስለዚህ ዛሬ ስለ ሰብስቴሽን ነው የምናየው። ሰብስቴሽን ኢዝ ዘ አሰምብሊ ኦፍ አፓራተስ ኢዝ ዱ ቱ ቻንጅ ሰም ካራክተሪስቲክስ ኤግዛምፕል ቮልቴጅ ኤሲ ቱ ዲሲ ፍሪኩዌንሲ ፓወር ፋክተር ኢትስ ኦፍ ኤሌክትሪክ ሰፕላይ ኢዝ ኮልድ ኤ ሰብስቴሽን ሰብስቴሽን ማለት ኮምቢኔሽን ኦፍ አፓራተስ ዘ ዱ ቱ ቻንጅ ሰም ካራክተሪስቲክስ ለምሳሌ ቮልቴጅን ከኤሲ ወደ ዲሲ ኮንቨርት ማድረግ ወይ ደግሞ ከዲሲ ወደ ኤሲ ኮንቨርት ማድረግ ፍሪኩዌንሲ ፓወር ፋክተር እና ሌሎችም ስቴፕ አፕ ስቴፕ ዳውን የሚሰራበት ቦታ ሰብስቴሽን ይባላል ማለት ነው። ሰብስቴሽን ሳር ኢምፖርታንት ፓርት ኦፍ ኤ ፓወር ሲስተም ኢት ኢዝ አን ኢምፖርታንት ፓርት ኦፍ ኤ ሰብስቴሽን ዘ ኮንቲኒቲ ኦፍ ሰፕላይ ዲፔንድስ ቱ ኮንሲደራብል ኤክስቴንት አፖን ዘ ሰክሰስፉል ኦፕሬሽን ኦፍ ሰብስቴሽንስ ኢት ኢዝ ኤ ፎር ሴንሻል ኤክሰርሳይዝ አት ሞስት ኬር ዋይል ዲዛይኒንግ ኤ ቢልዲንግ ኤ ሰብስቴሽን The following are important points which must be kept in view while laying out a substation laying out a substation so it should be located at a proper site proper bona site proper bona bota locate medaragallebet maletno build medaragallebet as far as possible it should be located at the center of gravity of load gravity of load yemen maletno load center ከተሰራ በኋላ ነው substation መቀመጥ መቻል ያለበት load center gravity of load ማለት for minimizing a loss and to minimize transmission cost distribution cost ነዚህ ለማጋነስ gravity of load ላይ መቀመጥ መቻል ያለበት so it should provide safe and reliable arrangement safe and reliable arrangement in order to keep by ማለት ነው ደሞ ለቃዎችም ለሰዎችም ሰላም ያስፈልጋል ማለት ነው ሁለት consideration must be given to the maintenance of regulation clearance maintenance must be given to maintenance consideration must be given to the maintenance of regulation of clearance facilities for carrying out repair and maintenance of normal occurrence such as possible to affect pressure or fire etc fire etc for reliability consideration must be given for good design and construction the provision of suitable protective gear it should be easily operated and maintained it should involve minimum capital cost it should be you know involve minimum capital cost so if we have say this much about the introduction to that of a substation how can we classify substation substation there are several ways of classifying substation however the two most important ways of classifying them are one service equipment that means service requirement and constructional feature bemisetut agelgulot na way of construction construct bonu bet way amakanyinet substation bawlet ikkefalalu malatna So according to service requirement according to service requirement a substation may be called upon to change voltage level improve power factor or convert ac to dc convert ac to dc so according to service requirement one of the service in a substation is stepping up or stepping down voltage power factor correction converting ac to dc or dc to ac of power and according to the service requirement substation may be classified into other classifications one transformer substations transformer substation which the main task of transformer substation is stepping up or stepping down the power the second one switching substation in this case also this substation is required to switch on and off only and the power factor correction substation this is a substation which is responsible for the power factor correction and frequency change the substation which changes the frequency Con converting substation which converts a power ac power to dc power and vice versa the other industrial substations a substation 
a substation which supplies only industries. 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 And we see one by one of these all substations. The first one is transformer substations. Those substations which change the voltage level of electric supply is called subst transformer substations. These substations receive a power at the same voltage and deliver at the other same voltage. As a same voltage. If, if we have 11 kV generator, 11 kV gener gener generation and steps up to 66 kV, 66 kV, it is said to be a step up transformer. And if this transformer is installed in a transformer substation, a transformer substation is said to be a step up transformer. Substation. Obviously, transformer will be main component in such substations. The main component in this substation is the transformer. Most of the substations, the power systems are of these types. The major of the substation in the power system are con concerned with the changing of voltage level. Concerned with changing of voltage level, either step up or step down of the voltage level of the electric supply. They are known for a transformer substations because transformer is the main component employed to change the voltage level. The voltage level. As we said, as said, the main task of a transformer substation is changing the voltage level, either maximum or minimum level of the given amount. The second, depending upon the purpose served, transformer substation may. So depending upon the purpose of the circuit, transformer substation may be classified into step up, step down, primary grid end, step up substation, primary grid, and secondary grid substation, the other one is distribution substation, distribution substation. In this case, a step up substation is a substation which steps only the which only the, gets the task to step up only. In this case, is a step up to 220 kV to affect economy in transmission of electric power. The substation which accomplishes this job are called step up substations. These are generally located in the powerhouse and are outdoor types. Outdoor type. The, the next one is primary grid substation. From this, this from the step up substation, electric power at 220 kV is transmitted by three phase three wire system overhead system to outstretch the city. Here, electric power is received by the primary grid, primary grid substation, which reduces the voltage level to 664 secondary transmission. A, tri a system is said to be primary grid where it received the First, the first step it up voltage. In this case, in this case, 11 kV is generated the generation station and step up by step up transformer to 220 volt, kilovolt, kilovolt, and it gives to the other step down, step down, step down substation. And this, this step down is the first connection is said to be primary grid substation. The primary grid substation is generally outdoor type. The secondary substations from the primary grid substation, electric power is transmitted at 66 kV, which is a step down from that of 220 kV by three phase three wire system to various secondary substations located at the strategic point in the city. Strategic point at the city. A point, a strategic point is a point where, where the main requirements are done. At a secondary substation, the voltage is further stepped down to 11 kV. The 11 kV lines run along the important roadside of the city. It may be noted that big consumers having demand more than 50 kW are generally supplied by the 11 kV for further handling with their own substation. Their own substation. The secondary substations are also gener generally outdoor type. The other is the distribution substation. 
The electric power from 11 kV lines is delivered to distribution substation. These substations are located near the consumers located and step down to three phase and single phase. It means 400 volts three phase for wire four supplying to a consumer. A consumer. Thus, the voltage between any two phase is 400 volt and between any phase and neutral is 230 volt. For example, if the lines are this and this is R, S, T and the neutral and the neutral and if we measure, if we measure if we measure between these two lines, we get 400 volt. And if we measure from other two lines, we get 400 volt. And if we measure between these two lines, between these two lines, this line and this line, we get 400 volt, which is surface. surface. And if we get measure R S and R N S N and T N, we get two hundred thirty thirty volt, which is single phase single phase line. So the single phase residential lighting load is connected between N one phase, like from this this one N one phase and the neutral. The neutral. It may be worthwhile to maintain here that the majority of the distribution substations are of pole mounted types. Pole mounted type. We will see in constructional form. The other one is switching, switching substation. These substations do not change the voltage level that incoming and outgoing lines have the same voltage. As this, as the name indicates, as the name indicates, switching substation function is only switching off and on. However, they simply perform the switching operation of power line. The next one is power factor correction substations. Those substations which improve the power factor of the system are called up power factor correction substations. Such substations are generally located at the receiving end of a transmission line, receiving end of the transmission line to correct a power factor. These substations generally use synchronous condenser as the power factor improvement equipment. The next one is frequency changer substations. Those substations which change the supply frequency are known as frequency changer substations. Such a frequency change may be required for industrial utilization or industrial usage. Converting substation, as the name indicates, as the name indicates, those substations change AC power to DC power is called converting substations. These substations receive AC power and convert it into DC. Power with suitable apparatus, for example, ignitron to supply for such purposes, traction, electroplating, electric welding, etc. The next one is industrial substations. A substation which supply power to individual in indus industrial concerns are known as industrial substations. Then, according to construction feature, this all we discuss in the above section are based on service requirement. The next one is according to constructional feature. A substation has many components: circuit breaker, a switch, fuse, instrument, instruments, and which must house it properly to ensure continuity and reliability service. So, according to constructional feature, the substations are classified as indoor type, outdoor type, underground type, pole mounted type are the main constructional feature substation. Indoor types, a voltage with 11 kV. The equipment of the substation is installed indoor because of economic consideration. However, which the atmospheric is contaminated with impurities, these substations can be erected for a voltage of 66 60 kV if the atmosphere is contaminated. The next one is outdoor substation for a voltage beyond 66 kV. The equipment is invariably installed outdoor. It is because for such voltage, the clearance between conductors and space required for, su for switches, circuit breakers, and other equipment become so great that it is not economical to install the equipment indoor. 
So underground substation is like this one. This is the ground level, and this is a switch gears which contains protective equipment. This is the transformer which is used to step up or step down, step down, and this is the entrance of the substation. The entrance of the substation. So in thickly populated cities, in thickly thickly populated cities, there is a scarcity of land as well as well as the price of land are very high. So converted to this substation cost, substation cost, the land is very expensive. So it is it is profitable to install the substation on underground. This has led to the development of underground substation. In such substation, the equipment is placed underground, as this figure indicates. The design of underground substation requires more careful considerations than that of other substations, other substations, especially the insulation type. While laying out an underground substation, the following points must be kept in view. The first one is the size of the station should be minimum as possible. The station, which must be minimum, there should be a reasonable access for both equipment and personnel. Reasonable access. There should be provision for emergency lighting and protection against fire. Against fire. Must be. There should be a good ventilation for ventilation case. There should be provision for remote indication of excessive rise. Excessive rise. Temperature so that high voltage supply can be disconnected to protect any fault. The transformer switch and fuse should be air cooled to avoid bringing oil into premises. Premises it must be, it must be cooled with cooled with air. Pole mounted pole mounted substation a substation which is near our house installed in, in our house and it gives for uh, different households households this is these are insulators insulators this is crosser this is a pole and this is isolators 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 and this is conductors conductors one two three four five which is R, S, T, neutral, and R, zinc. And this is the primary, the, the supply, the supply, which in turn is the primary, in the primary, in the primary side of a transformer, primary side of a transformer. It's also the other, which passes in this direction, in this direction. So this is an outdoor substation with equipment installed Overhead H pole or for, for pole. See, in this case, this is H pole. H pole. This are, this are, two are poles. 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 It is the cheapest form of substation for voltage not exceed 11 kV or 30 kV in some cases. In our case, in our city, 15 kV is. Distributed over distribution line. Electric power is almost distributed in locality through such substations. It is a distribution substation placed overhead on a pole. It is the cheapest form of substation as does not involve any building work. The other is these are lightning arresters. Lightning arresters. This is a transformer. And these are fuses. These are isolators. And this is. This the output of the transformer, which steps down 11 kV to 400 kV, and this is also this is oil circuit breaker operating handle to disconnect the isolators. And this is shows the schematic single line diagram, schematic diagram. The transformer and other equipment are mounted in H pole. This is H pole. The 11 kV line is connected to the transformer 11 kV to 400 through gang isolator and diffuses. Gang isolator and diffuses. Fuses. The transformer step down the voltage 400 volt three phase for wire supply. The voltage between any two lines is 400 and any 
any of the line in the neutral 230 volt the whole circuit breaker installed on the low low side low transmission low, low tension side automatically switches the transformer from the consumer in the event of any fault the pole mounted substation are generally used for transformer capacity with 200 kV 200 kV the following points may be noted about the pole mounted one there should be periodical checkup of the dielectric string the insulation type of oil in the transformer and oil circuit breaker this one oil. in the in case of repair of transformer or oil circuit breaker both gang isolators and oil circuit breaker should be shut off this gang gang isolators and circuit breaker must be shut off then foundation mounted substation for a transformer of capacity above 250 kV which is heavy heavier than that of below 250 kV a transformer are too heavy for pole mounting such substation usually a voltage 33 and above kV are included for a transformer capacity 25 kV 125 kV and above 125 kV but up to 250 kV respectively The other is classification substation based on importance. Grid substation, there, there are substations from where bulk power is transmitted from one point to another point in the grid. These are important because any disturbance in this substation may be cause the failure of the grid. And the other is town substation, a substation, step down station, 33 to 11 kV4, further distribution in the towns, and any failure in such substation result in the failure of supply hole of the town and this is a comparison between outdoor and indoor substation this is compared to its particular characteristics one space required in outdoor it is more and indoor it is less in time required for erection it is less time in outdoor and more time in indoor future extension it is easy it is difficult in and in indoor and fault detection easier to because the equipment is fully view and difficult because the equipment is enclosed and the capital cost in outdoor it is low and in indoor it is high operation it's difficult to operate in outdoor and easier to operate in indoor possibility of faulty escalation less because greater clearance be provided and it's more simple for equipment is this are best bar single line isolated switch double brake isolated switch this one and this is on load isolating switch and isolating switch with as bulk current transformer and potential transformer are symbolized like this it is usual practice to show the various elements and these are symbols of important equipment in substations are these are capacity voltage transformer or circuit breaker a circuit breaker with over current trend Tripping device, air ballast, circuit breaker, lighting, lighting arrestor with active gap and lighting arrestor valve and it is arzing of overcurrent relays and this is three-phase transformer which is rewinding and arcing core. The so substation equipment and their function. The substation has several equipment which are briefly discussed as bus bar. Bus bars are the conductors to which a number of incoming and outgoing are connected. A power transformer, power transformer is due to step up or step down the voltage. Circuit breaker is an automatic switch device which can make or break an electric circuit under normal and short circuit conditions. Isolator is a disconnecting switch which is used for disconnecting a circuit under no load conditions. And isolating switches. In substation, it is often desired to disconnect a part of a system for general maintenance and repair. This accomplished by isolating switches or isolators. As these are single line diagram. For instance, if it is desired to repair section two, section two, the procedure of disconnecting section will as follows: one, first of all, open the circuit breaker. Open the circuit breaker first. This one, open open the circuit breaker in this section and then open the isolators open the isolators this one and this one this procedure will disconnect section to for repair for repair this section 
Then after the repairing has been closed, isolators, then isolators one and two, first end then set the circuit breaker to continue the supply. The zinc switch, the zinc switch is connected between the line conductor and us. Under normal condition, it is open. When the line is connected, the zinc switch is closed to start a voltage. The current transformer is used to step down a current for measurement and protection and control purpose and the other is voltage or potential transformer voltage trans is used to step down voltage for measurement protection and control like that of a current transformer. These two transformers are called instrument transformer. The other is lighting arrestor which is surge arrestor is connected between phase and ground. Phase and ground at the substation to disconnect lightning over voltage and switching over voltage to us. The next one is shunt reactor is used to control a voltage during low load period and compensate shunt capacitance of transmission line. It is used to any extra high voltage substation particularly. Series reactors is used to reduce the short circuit current or starting current. The neutral ground resistor is used to limit the, the fault current and the other main, the main Commence substation shunt capacitor are used for power factor improvement switched in during low power factor load in particular. The other is series capacitors that are used for compensation of series reactance of long line and sometimes for power factor improvement also. Control cabling it is used for protect circuit, control circuit, metering circuit, and communication circuit. It incorporates protective circuit. Control circuit, metering, measuring circuit, and communication circuit give information. So there is power cable they are used to provide supply pass to various auxiliary equipment and machines. The other is power line carrier communication system is used for communication, telemetry, telecontrol, power line carrier and protection. See, the other is DC battery seats and battery chargers. They are used to provide auxiliary low voltage DC supply for protective device. The best bar arrangement to be continued.